Hey everybody, old Uncle Josh over here at Advantage One today. Uh, just a beautiful day. I'm just loving the sunshine compared to the crappy weather that we've had with a equally nice 305 Montana High Country, 10,000, I think 630 pounds, give or take something like that. And to the folks who own this that we're selling it for in consignment, well done. You obviously knew how to take care of a fifth wheel. I have located absolutely nothing in the way of leaks, problems, any significant dings or blemishes, Everything from the factories here and then some, including a Furion rear view camera. We've got dual uh, air conditioners keeping her nice and chilly inside. They're both centralized, king bed, opposing slides, island. It's about 35 feet, which is a really nice length. There's something magical about that where at 35 feet on a fifth wheel, the tire tracks on the fifth wheel will almost exactly match those on the truck as you're wheeling around. I don't know why it works out. I just know that it does. And it really takes a lot of the mentality out of like, okay, how wide do I have to swing around this? It just tends to work better but even better than that the previous owners are including with the sale of this rv their pull right super glide automatic uh pivoting fifth wheel hitch system it's already got the capture plate on the nose uh all you have to do or on the hitch kingpin as it were uh all you have to do is just set the entire hitch in the bed of your truck lock it down hitch them up hit them out raw hide that is awesome that is an expensive hitch that is a very expensive hitch it's also an absolutely awesome hitch because it automatically pushes the cap of the fifth wheel away from the cab of your truck when you make those tight turns there's no stopping there's no adjusting a lever there's no thinking there's just driving towing parking and going it doesn't get much better than that We're gonna work our way right from the top down. We got one of those rain sensory max air vent fans. You see how that skylight, that sort of ceiling fixture has a shade too to keep the sunshine out of this thing. And uh, here in the living room, it does have a whisper ducted air system to help keep the noise knocked down. And I'm trying to remember, I believe that fabric decor in this year was called linen. <laughs> We're a Montana dealer just down the street at Halet RV. We've been handling high countries for years. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty darn familiar with this thing. I know my way around it uh, very well. And I believe that was called linen. This was also one of the first years that they adopted the uh, roller shade blinds uh, on all of these windows here. And that gives you some pretty awesome coverage. Uh, although, of course, you could always close those all off. And they do all open for airflow, by the way. The uh, table over here has a little extension leaf. And notice the, all the original owner's manuals and everything are still here. That's a, not a major item, but that is an indicator that I look for. Do people keep track of their uh, manuals. If they do, they tend to really keep track of the RV. It's just a trend that I've noticed. That is a power theater recliner, by the way. You see the little silver button on the inside of that armrest right there. And that in the back is a tri-fold hide-to-bed sleeper sofa. This is primarily focused as a couple's rig, but if you're going to have some guests, that opens up into a pretty decent sized sleeper. My wife and I uh, spent a weekend camping on the back of Mr. Halet's Montana's hide-a-bed uh, when we did a family trip. Man, that was back in 2018. We we had plans to go out last year, but, you know, COVID. COVID wrecked my own camping plans. I know that it's done a lot to a lot of other people, too. But if the worst that's happened to me is I lost a couple days of camping, I know that some other people have gone through some decent hardships. I'm just going to count my blessings and say good enough. Now, sitting at the theater seat, this is the position right here absolutely a no neck wrecker entertainment center notice how the tv is not mounted all the way up at the top of the slide like seems to be the trend in a lot of recent years it's starting to drive me nuts I, they need to keep bringing the tvs back down here to you know <laughs> major time to ground control <laughs> electric space heat and fireplace right there to take a little bit of the nip out of the air without burning up our propane that is a 13 cubic foot give or take gas electric two-way refrigerator freezer um, so a, uh, a model that if you're going to, you know, make a stop somewhere off grid a little bit, something like that can, uh, you know, keep, keep things cooled off without the, the need for shore power or a generator, anything like that. Um, obviously if you're looking for a generator, you could use everything in the RV any way you please pretty much, uh, any time you pleased. Um, let's see here. Where do we want to start? I want to crack open some storage. Let's, we'll get to that in just a second. Actually, let's finish up everything before we open that up just to kind of complete the look. Six and a half foot tall slide, by the way. Where that's kind of nice is uh, if I come over here, uh, if I step right in this thing, you can see that I don't got to worry about it. I'm not, I'm not ducking. I can ET phone home stretch this thing. And even right under the 
uh, fascia right there. I'm not going to crack my head. It's just one of those nice little details that go into some of these bigger fifth wheels. Now, speaking of storage, let's start over here. By the way, you see there's the box and the monitor for that Furion camera system. Now, starting down below here, working around, say, that coffee bar. Uh, by the way, on the side of that coffee bar is where the controller is located for the uh, Max Air vent fan above. Now, you can see if we take a peek at the appliances here, they're not gross and dirty and people didn't leave crumbs from Hot Pockets or something in there. The refrigerator is not a moldy, oldy or anything like that. Nice chunk of storage above the TV, but notice how the TV pivots around. You could also pivot that TV around um, to uh, you know, be able to be a little more visible from the dining area, from the kitchen space from kind of whatever works for you. And the entire island is storage. And that's where really the majority of our drawers are located is in that island. But I also love the, the included dedicated wastebasket that it has. Just a bunch of really good Montana doing Montana thing details in this sucker. Now sliding upstairs up here to the bedroom, I wanted to also show you the height up here because I know there's a lot of bigger people. Again, I'm 6'2", six, 6'3", six, depends on what shirt and what hat I'm using. And if my fuzz my little peach fuzz up here has managed to grow a little bit <laughs> it's my forehead's become a five head over the years if you haven't noticed i used to have some flopsy job hair and now it's all gone anyway we're about six and a half foot tall up here and it's a linear ceiling it's a vaulted exterior roof where it's rounded but it's flat inside so it doesn't matter where you stand everything's very um consistent that way if uh that makes any sense to you now up here in the bedroom you see we do have that factory installed second centralized air conditioning 70 by 80 king bed and there is full storage below that we'll see that in just a second i just want to give you kind of a peek around here at everything all closed up especially nice uh this allows us to get to see that nice big window right there now if you do happen to climb in bed i always like to show you this kind of just like the theater seat this is our view at the end of the night and if you notice, Montana tends to angle that TV just slightly. Not a ton, but just enough to kind of help you avoid a little bit of that neck crank. Now, just like we did in the kitchen, show you all around all the storage space in here. One of the cool things about a Montana high country, this is the step above Cougar in the Keystone lineup, if you weren't aware. And one of the major defining qualities there is that this is stackable washer dryer ready, as opposed to only combo washer dryer ready. Um, and Montana's are a couple things here. They are the number one selling fifth wheel to full-time RVers, and they have been for something like 20 straight years. It's pretty incredible. Now, when I, I wanna turn you to the left over here. This is one of the pivoting doors. The idea behind it is it doesn't matter if you're coming from upstairs or downstairs, you never have to take a backward step. You can just walk up and walk right in effectively. Now, they are a little bit of a challenge for me to do all of my camera work on because uh, they're always just kind of in my way. But when you're actually in the RV, I've always felt that they sort of look like they might get in your way and then they get out of your way. It's, it's just kind of funny like that. Now, remember the ceiling height that you saw in the bedroom will be the same ceiling height that you see right there in the shower. And look at just the general cleanliness in here. You know, the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink, the shower, there's not like dead bugs and antifreeze and stuff slopped all over. They did one heck of a job at keeping a very nice RV here. And I don't feel for a second like maybe, are, are we maybe inheriting someone else's dirt? I, I don't feel that at all in here. And a quick look here with the slide outs closed just before we step outside. Um, when you uh, have opposing super slides like this in an island and you're trying to keep it as short as possible, naturally things get pretty tight in here pretty quickly. Uh, this is definitely a model where you're going to want to try to park somewhere where you could open this kitchen door side slide and then you'll have a lot of access, but it's, it's a model that you do need to be able to deploy at least one of the slides to do much with when she's closed up. Sure to go uh, to the bathroom or go upstairs to the bedroom anyway. And I know that the, the trend right now is like every, every RV has gone to like white skin with gray and black decals. I really like the look of this. This says Montana to me. It's warm, it's welcoming, it's nice. And I tell you what, it's a single awning, but good gravy. That is one big awning. I don't feel it's shy in awning space. Uh, along with those six and a half foot tall slides that you can actually stand up in where you're dining, you've got a matching six and a half foot entry door. Notice how the door and the slide line right up. That is an anti-slam door with a nice big handle for some easy come and go. 
This was made a little bit before the stable steps became uh, available. There are some people who really wish they could still get steps like this. Most today's manufacturers typically just don't even offer them. But if you would prefer the stable steps, that's easy stuff. We can put that stuff right on there for you. Magnet holdbacks on the baggage doors, but notice you still have the little silver cleats on those so that if you want to do some gas struts, like maybe you live in wind country and uh, windy stuff will tend to slam those things on your head if you're not really careful and paying attention big drop frame storage in here. You see all sorts of various accessories and leveling blocks and uh, surge guards and <laughs> all sorts of odds and ends included with this. Like I said, beautiful fifth wheel. The folks are just done RVing for the time and you're getting the benefit of a lot of their things effectively. Now, if I direct your attention to that pin box, you see there's a funky little attachment sticking off of that. Remember that this RV includes the uh, Polrite Super Glide Auto Pivoting Hitch compliments of the previous owners. That is a very expensive hitch, uh, well over uh, a couple thousand dollars that you don't gotta worry about it. So that's one of those things you need to kind of consider when you're looking at the price tag of this one. It's more of a package. It's not just the fifth wheel. It's the fifth wheel and one of the best hitching systems known to the planet Earth. I, uh, I should work on like a David Attenborough, National Geographic sort of voiceover for things like that. <laughs> as he investigates the pass-through storage. No, I, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'll work that out at my own time. I won't do that on your time. <laughs> Auto leveling controls over here, leveling blocks. Ooh, ooh, I like those. 50 amp cord reel so that, you know, it's just, it, you don't gotta lug it around quite so much. This is a hot, cold, camp rated, people like to refer to as Four Seasons RV. All of our uh, hookups, everything in here in this privatized docking center. And there is uh, heating that goes to the back of that where all your valves and everything are located. And you can't see much when I get down here, but she is enclosed, she is forced air heated, she is hot, cold, rated, and ready. Montana's actually have been since 2005 and counting. I noticed too, they had uh, the little bug screens on the water heater and the furnace intake and exhaust right here. It's, it's amazing how one little bug nest can cause a uh, either a flare out or just simply starve your system from enough oxygen where it quits working. And a simple little screen like that, man, it eliminates a lot of problems. Also, down here to keep it away from the rest of your stuff, you got a handy little stinky slinky sewer hose holder. Now, along with those frameless windows looking awful smexy, look at the reflectivity on that glass. That is fantastic. That is one of the ways that you can tell this was absolutely kept cleaned, conditioned, uh, basically sunscreened. That's what I mean by conditioning. Uh, you can wash the camper, but and, and that's great. But like if you were going to sit out in the sun all day, you'd probably put on sunscreen. It's not a bad idea to use a conditioner on your RV, which is kind of like camper sunscreen. Obviously, these folks did that. Uh, there is a, uh, I'll get you up close here to take a little bit of a peek. I just wanted to walk you around the backside. The uh, two inch receiver hitch on the back here. This is, uh, well, it's a 300 pound rated accessory hitch. Physically, this is the exact same hitch and mounting system as the 3000 pound towing hitches that are used in the market today. The only difference is there's no four way wiring harness and there's no safety chain hooks on this. If you wanted to add those, especially on a used RV where you're not worried about losing any sort of warranty or anything like that, you could add those things and basically upfit to a towing hitch. And once again, backup camera already installed here and the monitor is included with it. That's something you gotta watch for sometimes in the used RV market. You find a used RV, it's like, oh yeah, we got the backup camera. But like they lost the monitor or they forget to give it to you and then you gotta go buy one and resync it. Not with this one. Again, it's all here. And this roof looks absolutely terrific. The membrane is healthy. You can see it's been conditioned. You can also see where the owners were absolutely on top of touch-up beads and on their sealants. They spent some time up here checking on this regularly. It's pretty obvious. You also see where they put a vent cover there over the bathroom vent. And the front air conditioner is actually a low profile on this so that it helps keep the uh, total overhead clearance of the RV a little more manageable. Uh, so you're not, you know, skinning it when you're going under the overpasses. <laughs> So there you go, everybody. Beautiful fifth wheel, hitching included, backup camera, partridge in a pear tree. Give us a call. We can do, uh, I would say the hitching, but the hitching's done. <laughs> uh, we can do financing. We can arrange delivery right to your doorstep if that's what you need. We could simply put the hitch in the belly, have a third-party delivery company, uh, send it right to your site or your front door or whatever works for you. Whatever you need. Give us a call. We do it all. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and have an A1 day, everyone. I am blind. That is bright. <laughs>